copyrighted music for that because I made that. But today we are headed to Mid-America Outdoors where basically every person, personality, racer, anybody in action sports is there. We've got the rally car, we've got the mini truck, there's freestyle motocross, there's rally racing, there's side-by-sides, there's lazy river swimming poles, a rodeo, they've got the thing where you ride the motorcycle around sideways on the wall, whatever that's called. We're pumped. Headed to Jay, Oklahoma. Come on. Perfect video here. Watch it. actually like one of the absolute most dangerous scenarios that anybody could ever deal with. Luckily this guy's here and he does it all the time, but it's just crazy just laying on the ground, his feet are sticking out. I just like, I just want to be off of this road and at their shop. these big rigs you can't always tell when and if you have a blowout and they were waving at us and sure enough I looked in the mirror and the fender of the trailer is just rolled all the way over. I'm gonna keep the flashers going we're just gonna try to literally lift this thing back but yeah tried calling everybody nobody would answer the phone and this guy just ironically pulls up behind us and happens to be a tire service guy and he said he'd fix it for 35 bucks. Cheap enough. Heck, I was willing to pay him double. But then uh, the further this went along, the worse off the problem got. Not only was it the tire and the fender, but it was the axle too. So this trailer has air ride suspension and it completely just ripped the welds up underneath this axle. So. We've got it chained up. That was just a terrible scenario. Just being right on the edge of I-35 here. Trucks going 70, 80 miles an hour. He does this for a living, but it just trips me out. The least I can do is be an extra set of eyes for him as these vehicles just continue to just blast by him. And he's laying underneath the trailer. His legs are hanging out close to the center line. I'm like, this is not a, a task for, for me. I'll say. We're headed back to their shop now where we're gonna put all new tires on this trailer, if they have them at least. At least gonna get a new spare. And there's a trailer repair shop right next door where they're gonna weld this axle back up. Even though we're gonna be down for several hours, this is still like best case scenario. The fact that this happened where it did and that we have these options to be able to help us out. So, stand by. At least it's a place that we can get in easy, you know? Yeah. Oh, and there's a dog. That always helps. Boy, oh boy. That's just a brace that goes across there to the cross member frame there. But that's what you're talking about. Okay, so I'm not really 100% what's happening from here. The first thing that I was told whenever we pulled up is that they're closing. Um, that being said, they are working on it. I don't know how much. I do know that they said the trailer repair place is across the road. So I don't know if now this is the trailer repair place or what's going on, but uh, we might be staying in Purcell tonight. 
to be completely honest, I don't think that it will take a whole lot to get it fixed. I mean, it's kind of like jarred in a weird way, but as long as they get it straightened up, it really seems to me like they can just put some weld around it. We already have a tire, you know, so that's really all we need is them to just glue her back together and we'll hit the road, but... Well, we're not staying in Purcell tonight. Thank goodness. I don't know what time we're gonna get there. I just wanna just get there and uh, go swimming. That's honestly just all I wanna do. Get this thing parked and go swimming. Say a prayer for us that this thing makes it the rest of the way. Thank you. We are done. We made it. We're parked. We're parked. We are powering down. See you tomorrow. I feel like we're at like Cabela's. <laughs> Is this not just absolutely insane? coffee shop upstairs. You can buy RC cars over there. They have a full um, like RC um, race this weekend too. Like championship. Right, and then for you? stuff that I have seen on social um, of this giant step up right here it just doesn't do it justice this thing is like straight up right America just kind of giving ourselves a self tour and this place is the Taj Mahal of anything off-road this is like Coda like Circuit of the Americas but the off-road edition and you would literally think that these people have been doing this forever everything is so professionally laid out like it feels like some giant corporate resort company came in here and knew exactly where to put everything the flow inventory like literally everything they have and we just rolled up to what uh, I'm really excited to check out and that's the nitro pits and it sounds weird because like obviously our nitro pits are a little bit different but this is the nitro rally cross nitro cross I'm just so pumped to be here this is crazy oh th this thing is like way easy to get into yeah right holy moly speed and then we got all the telemetry so like there's a camera points points out there's a okay. camera that points down at you and then all ties of the telemetry so that's very cool so. dang this is sick and these are 
front wheel drive only or they're all wheel? Okay. Yeah. As soon as you pull this back, uh -huh. this extra piece down here is a disconnect. Okay. It's right in the center of the car. So what it does is it disconnects the front and rear and that's what lets it turn and rotate. Oh yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. Okay. Wah, bah, bah. Wah. Yeah, buddy, this is cool. Gosh. Look at this. Oh my gosh. Damn. Be great. Bro. He won't get out. I know. This is so wicked. I couldn't even imagine. Let's see when they run out faster on first. They're just so quick, but it's making no noise. I know, all right? You hear is tire, all you hear is like the rocks and stuff. It's just like, it just sucks. Yeah. I get but everything else is bitching. The whole fast is easy. Yeah. The same thing. Yeah. Super fast. They're not geared for it. So that was Buddy Rice. He was, I believe, the 2005 uh, IndyCar winner. Guy's done literally it all. NASCAR, IndyCar, rally car, uh, successful in everything. He's been doing a lot of uh, driving coaching uh, for the last several years. A uh, good friend of mine. I uh, haven't seen him in a while, so it's really cool to catch up and especially get kind of a little behind the scenes uh, look at the next cars and uh the nitro cars so man crazy crazy just standing on the outside of the ropes you know what i mean <laughs> in the nitro pits in the nitro pits dude it's crazy <laughs> So we're down here. We didn't really do anything lead leading up to this because I thought I might uh, wimp out. And I'm like really this close. But this is a human catapult. And for the last seven hours, I've been on the schedule to go up at 7 p.m. It's now 7.26. I'm just hoping they cancel this event. Uh, but I've made it all the way down here and I guess I'm gonna do it. Travis did it a few days ago in reverse, did a backflip. However, he did say the first time he ever did it, it knocked him out. So that kind of freaks me out. So, here we go. <laughs> You've seen a few, you seen a few trial hits of this. How are you feeling? I don't feel any better. I feel pretty much the same. I've just seen more of it. I mean, nobody, the, the two that have done it, like nothing bad happened, so that, Helps the no. statistics, you know, like it'll all be fine. So, as long as nothing weird happens but honestly, before I go, like, there, you know, if you look back, if you look back at all, you're gonna over rotate. <laughs> and I think otherwise, I'll just belly flop. So, I think I need to go ahead and finish that rotation. Unless I over rotate and I'll just do a front flip and then land on my stomach and face, anyways, in a faster rotation. I'm so happy. <laughs> yeah, I know. Thank goodness I, I went out horizontal. We're just going to see your feet sticking like that. I said, I'm going like a dart. Thanks. Oh, yeah. Oh, I can't wait to see it. Morning. Good morning. My voice sounds weird. I slept on it wrong. Got some bacon. We got some potatoes. We got some eggs. 
coming in hot. This Blackstone, Shoot. this is like the best money that you could spend. Also, not an ad, but could be an ad. <laughs> this is the best, best cooking device for traveling, for sure. Look at that, man. Oh, yeah. loosens you up inside, but then you put a lot of cheese so it kind of tightens you back up, you know what I'm saying?
you got there, Al? Joe Blaster. 9,000. One of the unwritten rules of the park, apparently, is like Joe Blaster's is free game. <clears throat> so you can shoot anybody. So you've got the blaster itself. And it. And then you've got the, the stock, dude. Don't tell me you have to, here's the thing. Obviously this is shooting it doesn't matter what it's shooting. It's shooting something. While they're relatively soft, safety first and put your eye protection on. Here that's ten thousand right there. Which is a soaking in water. I feel like these are cooking. I don't know if these hurt or not. Ow. I got Cassie. Oh! Okay. Yeah. Oh, stop it. Oh, that's crazy. I don't even know what to think of them hurting so much. Yes. 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 That's you. Thank you. Do you want onions and jalapenos? Thank you. Thank you. Travis doesn't wreck the car, I get to ride with him. I've decided on my purchase. I feel that this is a pretty rare uh, coloring for a straw hat. Now, it might attract a little more heat, but I'm willing to take that risk. First off, cleaning off the windshield, in case that wasn't obvious. And uh, we're about to head over to Matt's place. And we're going to the live version of Nitro Circus. I will tell you, I'm a little bit bummed, but you know what, it happens. Old TP, he wadded her up in turn one, broke the car, so I don't get to go for the ride tonight. Let's see what's up. Music. That's okay. Because there's a whole lot more of tonight coming at you. So have any snow banks, so you won't have that luxury of pushing. You're if you put great sports. <laughs>
far the velocity we still have the tornado warning that's underway here near Grand Lake where strong winds there may be another small little area that we're going to watch here for some wind damage issues so near and just west of Jay. I don't even know what to think. They have tornadoes up here that are big enough to literally wipe out everything that's in its path, regardless size and weight. of how bolted to the earth it possibly is. The power is already out. Yeah, yeah, power just went out. We lost power here on the property at Mid America. Um, it's not raining yet. It is lightning. No thunder. Uh, and there's no wind. It's warmed up considerably, well, and there's no wind. I so mean, we have a tornado warning. Yeah, that, we're under a tornado warning. Not so much. Uh, that means that there is a tornado confirmed on the ground. Yes. Uh, they're the saying 100 mile per hour winds and quarter sized hail. <clears throat> Stay tuned. Two hours later. Okay. <clears throat> <laughs> so uh, we may have just had a top 10 wildest, wildest Wild lifetime it. experiences. <laughs> no, nope, keep it. Oh, uh, seriously, we uh, we just went into the the safest place we could have possibly gone here at uh, Mid America Outdoors. Yeah, lucked out with that. Literally lucked out with that. We the ahead. owner of this place, Jason, uh, went complete. American hero status and opened up his home for everybody that was close by to come into his home, not only into his first basement, but his second basement, which upon entry he said, nobody saw anything that they see in here. I didn't see anything, but it was insane. We were literally riding out a tornado with uh, Pastrana, Pastrana, his Lucy kids. Block, Leah Block, like Big Wilkie, like <laughs> what a world, dude. Oh. I'm just glad it's okay. Like yeah, that. yeah, it seems that uh, we didn't really get hit by any significant tornadoes or da or get any damage. Uh, we also haven't left yet, but from what we can tell, it is still storming pretty bad. Uh, and it does doesn't look like we have power here on the property. But uh, that's nothing compared to getting blown away. So yeah. uh, back to the motorhome we go to further assess the weather, I guess. Cassie, anything? I just want to go to sleep, man. <laughs> <laughs> I'm tired. Truck got blown. Oh my gosh. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh, no. Really? Come over and give me, help me push real quick. Okay. It's in gear with the with the brakes down too. Ready? Yep. One, two, three.